Vloggers, it's Robo, and welcome back to another episode of Pew Pew Time, where I showcase the airsoft gameplay footage I collect from the airsoft games I play in. Now picking up where we left off in part two, the warriors of Bravo 3-1 have just refit, rearmed, and rehydrated, and are itching at the opportunity to F up someone's day and help move that line forward. Now the concept to keep in mind while watching this footage is that it's during these times when you're at full strength and you're looking to make some big moves that it's time to take some risks. Start making decisions based on what you see on the battlefield and start moving that ball forward. So keep that in mind when you're watching this next footage and as always, let me know what you think below. Enjoy. Gents want to do some work? What do we want to do? Absolutely. Okay. So picking up where we left off last time, our squad has taken a few minutes to hydrate and eat some snacks and grab more ammo uh, from our bingo situation last time. Uh, and now we're semi ready to go back out into the wastes and look for more work to do. Uh, but you're going to see us play it cautious because we're not entirely sure what's been secured and what hasn't in and around the market uh, since the enemy held it last time. Yeah. Go on to that side and look this way. Yep. We're trying yet. Go right to the wall and crisscross on it. Okay. Let's just. Yep. So we're just verifying that there's friendlies towards the center of the market, and we're actually going to go meet up with them real quick to verify the situation going forward. That's Jeremy from okay. Force Recon here in Canada just giving me an update on the situation. Okay. At the next intersection, uh, there's some fire down there. Okay. Oh, see where the armor is? Yep. There. Yeah, okay. Uh, side, it came with an axe. You good? And then meeting up with Mike, our CO, uh, just to again double check where he needs us, uh, which turns out to be on the front line. We didn't there looking to split. So we'll roll up to the next line. Right. Just let us know, okay? Uh, Now our guys in Bravo 3-1 have proceeded ahead of me while I was having those conversations. Uh, so it's myself and Tyler uh, walking up to meet up with them. Is that our guys? Is that our guys? Yeah. Okay. Okay, there so there's effective fire coming from right here. So just be careful on this right flank. I have to quickly tighten this boot. A quick plug for my Solomon Forces XA Pro 3D Forces 2 here. These are awesome boots. I loved them the entire op at Copperhead. They were so useful, so comfortable. I'm going to check in with Evic real quick, all right? Yo, go, uh, go support Brock and uh, the Death's Hand guys, okay? I'm just going to spend some time getting uh, acclimatized to the situation since our squad is just coming back to the battlefield from a quick break. What's up boys and lady? What do you got up here? I'm just trying to hold here so they can move. What's up with it? So as it would turn out, the EVIC machine gun there is actually down. It's not firing. They're trying to get everyone... The gun is down right now, but they're trying to get everyone to move up and take the next building so we can keep moving up. But there's enemies about two houses ahead of us yeah. here. So let's just, the big warning is that gun's down right now. And all of our forces are sort of stuck on this line. So we're just looking for an avenue to, to maybe push this forward. How's it going, gents? How's things? What do you got? Good. Left hand corner of this house over here? Yeah. Right. Yeah, I guess you. Hey Jamie, only safe openings that side. It's the only thing that's gonna give us depth delayed. I was not waiting. Hey, uh, Jen and I are gonna move right behind you. Okay. Pull, watch hole.
Always watch for uh, field obstructions or hazards while you're out playing with your buddies. Had somebody fallen in that hole on a, on a run, they would have broken their legs. So it's always important to keep your eyes open for things uh, that may be hazards in the field and to communicate those hazards to your teammates. No. Where they are, dead guys, this base building, they're in the pink building after that. So yeah, Leah, if you break this fence line, just make sure you cut back left, all right? Okay, they're the next house over. Uh, yeah, get across here, right? how, how is she to get to them? No, I'm not good. Those guys in this building yeah, up ahead shooting out the middle window. Okay, so we're all sort of playing leapfrog with the buildings here. Uh, we've now gotten up to another house in front of us, but again are stuck from moving forward because we have no heavy ma machine gun cover fire. Uh, so Brock and I are going to check in through this house, which our forces are already starting to clear, uh, to see if there's any avenues forward. You need to change mags? How's it going, boys? Good, man. Good job. How you doing, bud? Good. There's guys on the back side of that. Building. Okay. I don't know if anyone's inside. Okay. Do you need anything right now? What's up? No. You need it? Okay. Yeah, I heard maybe second window. Second window? Maybe, but see a whole thing. Okay, we're medicing over there, so we must be okay from that second window because that was our that was our reservation going to get those guys in the open. Good job, brother. There's still one left. Good job, brother. We gotta, if we go now, these guys are trying to medic right now. Now we're trying to make a plan to get to this next building to clear it out as well. That next building is key for us to moving up. Yeah, I can see them. They're right in there. They're right in that window that's facing there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo! Jamie and Tyler just crossed the street, so they got crossfire on you. Yeah, you guys want to roll up on that side? Can you come past, okay, boss? Yep. All right. So Brock's made his move, and I'm going to follow up behind him. Figure out all these guys are doing. Now I hope somebody notices how wonky of a pistol grip I use there. No, I don't remember holding my pistol like that. Yeah, I remember holding my pistol like that. Adrenaline's a hell of a drug. So there's dudes on these uh, bushes that have got us kind of pinned. And if we can clear them out, we can clear this building out. So we're just kind of discussing that. Yep. Right on the other side. Now the plan is to use this grenade to clear out some of the building. The but yeah, what about the inside here? What the fuck was that? Windows closed. Is there anyone in it? Hit. Yeah, they keep looking. Hit. Where's your missing? I don't even know that came out. Dude, I swear that came from behind us. And he just walked into the garage. Who's in here? Tan. Yeah. Give me a second. So I'm just putting my kill rake back here. Once I put this back, I can tell you. Okay. Technically, since I'm alive. So if you look through this window, it goes out in the hall, it goes this way. Okay. Huck that fucking grenade in there, man. Give me a second, okay? Is there anyone in that window? Well, so, so there's a bunch of guys in the hallway that you can see through this window. So my thought is if we can huck the grenade in one of the side windows, we can take them out. The green bush is okay, but the kitchen and the dining room are right there and they both have open windows to it. So my problem, my, the problem is, is if we go up this side, there's three windows we have to worry about. What if we crawl on them? Mm -hmm. Thanks boss. Just pin, let the pin go. Pin and it's like three seconds, yeah. It's got the BBs. Wait, who the fuck's that? Brock! You want me? So we catch a guy completely unaware as we're planning to do this sneaky, sneaky ninja crawl under the windows. Nice job! Oh, you're right there behind the bush. Wait, see him there? Is he out? 
I can't tell. Are they all are they all down? I think three of them are down, but I, I see one moving like crazy, so I don't know. Well, what do you guys see? He just pulled his kill rag. So. And now that all those guys are dead, it's time for a sneaky, sneaky ninja crawl. I cannot emphasize enough how long and slow this was. So epic. He's down, he's down, he's down. <laughs> that guy had the best scream ever. Staff coming in. Staff coming in. Dick. Not through that door. Now I wish I had actually thrown the grenade right now instead of crawling further under the concrete here. But hey, hindsight's 2020. This grenade was so close to killing me. It was just outside that 20 foot range. Game control waved me off. Hit! So close yet so far. Would have been so awesome had I got that grenade in that window, but hey, still made for an awesome, awesome, awesome run. Dude, I was, I was like, dude, boom. That's what I was working towards. This is bro. Game Control giving me props. He was watching off to the side, hoping to watch the drama go down too. I love when Game Control gets excited. There you have it. That's pretty much another pew pew time in the bag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did or didn't like the video, let me know in the comments below. I love the conversation. Still coming down the pipes, I have a bunch more episodes of Pew Pew Time from my Operation Copperhead footage. So be on the lookout for those as soon as they drop. In terms of reviews, I still have a pile of those to follow up with you as well. Coming down the pipes, I'm still doing my original SWAT Hawk boots, my Forces 2 by Solomon, my Nighthawk Custom 1911 by Red Wolf Airsoft, as well as my Black Watch Optical Shields and Larry Vickers Combat Application Sling. After that, I'll also be putting out a full kit review of all the items I take to events like Operation Copperhead. As always guys, thank you so much for taking the time to hang out on my channel and check out my videos. If you could do me a huge solid, and that is like, subscribe, and share with all your friends. Keeps me happy in this YouTube game. And as always guys, keep having fun playing Airsoft, being good community members, and defend what you love. Later guys.